Hello everyone, uh, this is TSET ABCD and uh, welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So in this game, I am in the second position and I am actually playing a 1v1 game. So after completing the road to top 100 for the base game recently, I thought I could focus a little bit more on the 1v1 games because I haven't uh, tried to gain a lot of ranks here. I believe I am at <clears throat> around 2000 uh, before starting this game. So it's still a long way uh, to get to the top 100. But let's see. Um, here on this board, there is a lot of ore available. Not a lot of sheep. I mean, 3 4 is there, but not a lot of brick either. So maybe I can just go for a setup like 3 9 4 and uh, 6 3 4, and then <clears throat> later on the, in the game, I can build towards the towards the ore tile. But in that case, my opponent will go for 8, 5, 10. That seems to be an extremely strong spot here, especially those are the only two resources that he does not have. Yeah, but in any case, I think uh, I will be able to get some over later on in the game. Yeah. So might not be the best choice, but it's completely playable yet. I am quite dependent on 3s and 4s rolling early on, but um, that is okay, I believe. My first target would be to get a settlement on 692, increasing my ore production and some more sheep. I think my opponent can just go for 8510. Goes for 8310, which is completely fine as well. Yeah. Eights are very, very strong for my opponent. I do need a few sixes and uh, threes to roll early on. Fours are fine as well. So yeah, I mean sixes and either threes or fours. That way I can just get a road settlement. Here my opponent is getting quite lucky. Uh, quite a few eights and tens. Wow. Comparatively, there hasn't been even a single 6 that has rolled, uh, so that's a little unfortunate for me. <clears throat> Let's see what my opponent tries to do. Okay, it does a 4 to 1 to get a break, so might be focused on getting a road and a settlement here. Wow. Yeah, these early 8s and 10s are not strong for me, but um, that's how this game goes sometimes. And still a long way here. I still need another 6 and a 3 or a 4 to roll. Unfortunately, not a lot of those. Uh, I mean, so far, not even a single 6 or 4. And only one three, and my opponent gets road building. That's very lucky for him. We'll be getting a settlement on the three to one port. He's actually running out of time. Okay, he does get a settlement there, and now four five eleven is a very strong spot for him. Here, I think this blocking over is completely fine. And um, yeah, I will just build my road and end my turn here. So now I can get a settlement. Wow, very lucky that a six roll. That's the first six of the game there. 
and yeah so immediately my opponent rolls the seven so my opponent will surely block the six or block the six word okay yeah not a lot of nines either this game like i think only one nine early on in the game but after that or maybe two So here he'll just build another road towards gate three, I believe. Still not much that I can do. I'll just end my turn. I think I'll just go for a death card here. Unfortunately, I get. I mean, victory point was the worst card I could have had there because it doesn't help me in any way to progress my game. Yeah, I think my only my only option is to do a four is to one, get a over and go for another dev card. Yeah, at least a knight. I will with the knight. I'll be able to unblock myself. That's the least I can hope for at this point in time. So yeah, just blocking the eight over makes sense. Now that my opponent has a settlement on five, I think fives have rolled as well. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, yeah, that is how it is sometimes. Like so far, no sixes have rolled, and that's why I haven't been able to do anything. Like only one six this entire game. And um, as you can see, my opponent is just making good use of the setup that they have had. Whereas I am just waiting here to make or to be able to make any progress. And yeah, if my opponent is able to get a settlement on uh, three six, that would be even worse for me. Here, my only option is to go for another dev card, and unfortunately, I get another VP here. That's quite sad. I would want my opponent to roll a six, just so that I can get a road settlement on my turn. Uh, that's not the case here. And he is able to steal a wheat. So let's see if he can get a settlement. I'm not sure about it. I'm still hoping for a six to roll. I wouldn't want my opponent. Okay, he does a four is to one. So. Okay, doesn't get a settlement on six three. So if a six rolls, I will be able to cut him off there. And here, because my opponent doesn't have any cards, I cannot do much. Okay, blocking the eight sheep was a good call there. And here, yeah, I've. I'm still holding on to these cards just so that I am hoping to get a settlement. And actually, my opponent here is lacking sheep. Actually, a three did roll, right? So maybe my opponent. Okay, my opponent still doesn't get a settlement on six three. So here, yeah. Finally, I will be able to get block him somewhere. I think. So far, it's been quite an easy game for my opponent. It's still very much in my opponent's favor, though. So it's not like uh, it's an easy game for me. But I do need to get a little lucky. Maybe I should hold on for a city, but I think just getting a couple of dev cards is fine. And now 
I will build a couple of roads. Maybe getting a settlement on five ten two is an option, but I think just getting a settlement on nine ten eleven seems better choice to me. Yeah, at right. this point, I will hold on to these cards. A single nine will actually give me a city. Your yeah, my opponent is surely struggling for because he cannot get any more settlements. He needs to get a city. He will be able to do another three to one with converting his wood into okay. He doesn't even need to do that. And here, yeah, I think my only option is to hold on to these cards. Hopefully a nine is rolled. Yeah, I was expecting it. Like that's how my luck has been this game. Rolling a seven at that point, but I think I can block his wheat production. I do get wood, but I don't think so. It helps me in any way, so I'll just end my turn. Yeah, with that three. Yeah, so here I don't think I can do anything. I mean, I can build a couple of roads, but that doesn't help me. And yeah, I mean, I cannot blame. Anyone at this point? I mean, this was just my me holding on to these cards, being a little greedy. But because I'm not getting any rolls, I don't think I had any other option there. I had to block. I mean, hold on to those cards. Building more roads was not going to help me. And with the lead that my opponent has, although. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. Just okay. Does a four is to one? Okay, three is to one. Maybe goes for a dev card. Yeah, does go for a dev card there. I get brick, which isn't going to help me in any way. And again, I'll just hold on to these cards. Yeah, the lack of uh, nines and sixes is quite a dampener to my game plan. So now, with that six, I mean, I can just go for a settlement at this point. Uh, it's not like I have much of a choice here. And I think my opponent is just holding on to trying to get another city here. He should be able to. I mean, he doesn't have any wheat production just yet. Okay, he has a year of plenty. So very, very lucky there for my opponent. And quite an unfortunate game here for me. And with that five, I just cannot do anything. So yeah. I think this is just going to be GG. It's there's no fight from my side. I don't think so. My starting setup was that bad. I think my opponent just got very very lucky. I can do absolutely nothing here with the cards that I have. Finally, I do get some wheat. Like, um, I mean, my opponent will still be able to get a dev card. Oh, okay, he's just going for another city. He gets a city on eight, ten, four, I believe, at this point. Yeah, does do that. Wow. I mean, it, at this point, this wasn't even like a sigh of relief. It was just. Me being a little exasperated with the setup that I have. Yeah, 
and uh, yeah, now I think I'll just end my turn. Blocking the four year was great, especially I mean blocking three bricks for my opponent. The problem is I still do not have any port, so I cannot do much. I'll just end my turn. I will be able to get another city if I want to or just go for another dev card hoping that it's a monopoly. I think that would be a pretty good scenario. Okay, I do get another VP. So that doesn't help me make any progress in my game. I'll just do a 4 is to 1. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, those VPs surely aren't bad here, but it's not like they are going to help me in any way. Yeah, I'll just unlock myself. And I'm not even sure what is the best block at this point. Maybe just blocking some wheat would be fine. Yeah, especially because a 10 did roll there. So blocking wheat here was the best case scenario. But I still think it's just a little too late. Yeah. Hopefully a 7 is rolled, okay a 9 is rolled, so my opponent will be able to get a settlement. He already has a VP I believe. If not a VP, maybe it's a monopoly and then he can just take away all my wheat. Yeah, looks like he's just going for another city at this point. Getting a city on maybe, okay 4, 5, 11 is fine. So my best option is to just go for a dev card. Yeah, I cannot even get a road settlement at this point. And my opponent just wins the game. So, yeah, pretty bad game there for me. I mean, in the end, the dice were did even out, but these early 8s and 10s just gave him a huge lead in production. And by the time I could catch up, it was just too late. Yeah. I mean, I did have four VPs, so I had some luck, but um, yeah, I mean, the, the road building and the year of plenty early on that my opponent had was just pretty strong for him. And also these early eights and tens, I don't think so were, I mean, it was just too strong for him. Those eights and tens were just too good. So he was able to make a lot of progress early on and then... All I was was just catch, trying to catch up. Anyway, uh, I'll pause this video until I find another game. And once I find another game, I'll uh, start the recording for game two. So see you again. In I mean, for you guys, it should be just a few seconds. Uh, so yeah. Hello, everyone. So this is the second game of this video. And immediately I'm noticing that there is very little ore on this board. Quite a lot of brick available. A decent amount of wood and wheat and sheep available as well. But in any case, I think just going for a 6, 9, 10 seems quite strong early on. I think um, 6, 5, <coughs> 10 might be a little better. Because this way I can now build on 9-10 and I also start with some brick. For my second placement, I should be able to get something like, uh, yeah, not sure, maybe I will be able to get something like 8-4-11. I think my opponent will go for, okay, my opponent actually goes for 8-10-11. But that is quite good for me because now I can just go for 8-5-8-5-3 point my road to the left and directly I mean immediately cut off my opponent and my opponent just quits there so that's pretty good for me 
So again, I'll pause the video and come back when I find another game. Uh, so yeah. Hello everyone, uh, to the third game of this video. I'm not even sure if I should call this the third game because the second game my opponent just quit after his placements. So in this game I am in the second position and quite a few decent choices. Yeah, 8, 5, 10 was a pretty good choice. But here I think I can just go for a setup like um, 8, 3, 10 block a lot of ore and then just go for <coughs> yeah so 8310 i have to go for 8310 this way i block ore and sheep and my opponent does need both those resources and then i can just go for either eight, i think 834 is fine although my road production is not very strong but um, I will have a few, I will be getting a few dev cards. I'm just considering if 659 is better because 659 seems to be an excellent, I mean production wise, there is nothing that beats that. Yeah, I was actually running out of time there and I panicked and just went for 659. So I think this is completely fine. So my opponent can actually go for something like uh, 9, 10, 11 or 6, 4, 9, 6, 3, 4. I mean the, my opponent does have a few options here. But I think 9, 10, 11 or maybe 9, 4, 11 are the only decent choices that he can go for. Yeah, and in my case, yeah, he does go for 9, 10, 11. So, in my case, the reason why I went for 6, 5, 9 is just because of production. I do start with 6 different numbers and uh, my production will be quite strong early on. And I can collect a few dev cards. Yeah, I wouldn't want to roll any early 7s. So early 8s and 9s are pretty good for me. They are good for my opponent as well, but I think um, yeah, actually 8s and 9s I would actually not want that because that helps my opponent just as much as just as much as it would help me. Here I think my opponent will struggle with some sheep early on in the game. Yeah. And for me, I am surely going to struggle with uh, brick. I don't have any production, but with these sixes, the only benefit of that is I can do a four is to one and get my settlement on eight four. That would give me the brick port, sorry, the wood port and increase my wood production which is exactly what I'm looking for at this point in time. Now that my opponent already has a city, I should be able to target him. Yeah, I would not have liked getting a VP here. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is sometimes. Yeah, let's see what my opponent does. Here I'll again do a 4 is to 1, get a break and end my turn. So I am completely focused on getting a settlement on 8-4 first. And then I can even get a settlement on 6-3-11, 6-11-12. So my wood production is going to be very very strong. And here just blocking wheat seems fine. So my opponent will be stuck with quite a lot of ore in his hand. Although he does have the 2 is to 1 port. So, might be able to get dev cards.
Yeah. Actually, he just goes for a settlement there. So, at this point, I'll also go for my settlement and just end my turn. And for me, I think now, I, the reason why I'm not blocking his 8 anymore is because 9 has just too strong a production. He already has the, uh, has the or port and 9 also helps him. I mean, he also has a different uh, production uh, source. Yeah, here the 9 block would have been very, very strong. I mean, my opponent can get city very easily and that might bite me later on in the game. I believe I need to get a city on um, 695 as well. Yeah, here as expected, my opponent is getting a lot of dev cards. And I can also go for a dev card here. But I think just getting a city on 659 seems very, very strong. So at this point, I will actually focus on getting a city and then I can go for a dev card later on in the game. So. Yeah, let's see what my opponent does. I would actually want to cut him off on the 6-3-11 spot. Maybe he can just get a settlement. Wow, uh, gets a road settlement. And here I think I'll just block his sheep production. He does not have any cards, so that's a little unfortunate. So I do have a knight in hand, so that will give me the largest army. Not just yet though. So here, I think I'll just go for another dev card. And I'm getting knights. I would have preferred. Yeah, I cannot do much here. I think my only op a monopoly or a road building would be much better for me, especially because I do not have any brick production. And now every six will give a road to my opponent. So my opponent has excellent road building materials here. And I'll just keep on getting more dev cards. Okay, finally do get a road building, the card that I was looking for. But at this point, my opponent is quite far ahead with his port. Maybe I should play an aggressive knight and block his 9. Yeah, because he will get a settlement on 8-3-4. So his production is much, much stronger than me. Although I did start with better production, but uh, he has easily taken over the game at this point. And yeah, I will just play an aggressive knight. And I think yeah, that was an excellent move there because a 9 did roll. Let's see what my opponent does. Here, I will hold on to these cards. Yeah, I think I'll just hold on to these cards. My opponent doesn't have a monopoly or anything that I'm too worried about. So, with that 8, I think I'll just play my road building, get a settlement and a dev card. I do get another knight. So I am getting quite a lot of knights here. I would prefer. Okay. And my opponent rolls the seven. So that's excellent. My opponent losing out on five cards here. Steals my word, which is fine. I think I'll just 
block is nine again. I do get break. I think that's excellent for me. But uh, I can. Okay, I cannot get another settlement. But I think I'll just go for another dev card here. I am hoping for a monopoly or a VP. It's not worked out in my favor though. And here, with the cards I have in hand, I don't think so. There is much I can do, so I'll just end my turn. Blocking the nine here is quite good for me. So here I will surely go for a dev card, and I get another knight. I'm just wondering if I should play my year of plenty. Just to get a settlement here, but then I don't think so. I'll be able to get a settlement and a, and a dev card. So I'll just end my turn. I think I should play my year of plenty just to get a city. I think getting a city would be much stronger for me. The reason why I'm looking for more dev cards is just so that I can get a monopoly. I think getting a monopoly would be very very strong. Here my opponent is already on 13 points, so it's a little. It might be a little too late. Let's see. I get another VP that doesn't help me in any way, and because my opponent doesn't have any cards, I won't be playing my knight. So my opponent here has four bricks in hand and a wheat. I don't think so. He'll be able to do anything. So yeah, I'll just end my turn. Yeah, he can block anything. I'll just he'll build a road. I believe doesn't even do that. I for me. Yeah. So I'm not sure what my best move here is. I can get a settlement, but I know my opponent cannot do much with the cards he has in hand. So I'll just end my turn. So I think I'll play my year of plenty, get a sheep and a ore. Convert my wood into another sheep. Get a settlement and a dev card here. Wow! I keep getting VPs. I would prefer getting road building or a monopoly. Like road building basically gives me the opportunity of getting the longest road. I mean, that's now I don't think so. That's possible. Surely a monopoly would be nice. It's unfortunate that I'm not able to get any of those. And I'm a little worried that my opponent will be able to win the game very easily at this point. Like I think my opponent covers all the numbers except for twelve, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so I could have gotten a city here, but I think finally I get a monopoly. Like after ages, hopefully my opponent rolls a seven. He rolls a eleven, so he th I think he'll just be able to get a settlement and win the game. So. Yeah, so not a good session here. Out of three games, I lost two. Yeah, the dice statistics. Eight did roll quite a bit. Not a lot of fives and sixes. But yeah, I mean, my opponent was just his setup was just stronger than mine. Uh, nines, tens, elevens helped him quite a bit. Um, 
Yeah, if I go for resource production here, he just had better resource production than me. And I, I was very dependent on twos to ones, whereas he did not need to do that. He did not go for a lot of dev cards. He rather just built roads and got settlements easily. So that's the main difference here. Depending on port strategy actually did not help me much. Yeah, in, in hindsight, maybe I should have just gone for 834 here. Uh, but uh, that is how it is sometimes. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.